The Rundown today is brought to you by C4 Energy Drink. C4 Energy Drink is a high quality energy drink with no sugar that major players in the game are drinking. I'm talking Justin Fields as professional athletes. We got Kevin Hart who drinks it. He's like the hardest working comic and actor in the world. Dude does more than anybody in the game. So whatever he's drinking, you got to drink to have that level of energy. Uh, you can get it at your local Walmart, you can get it at Amazon, or you can go to c4energy.com. Like I said, zero sugar. Uh, it's the, the, the only way that you can get through the day. Don't drink coffee. You drink those weird, that weird, weird dirty bean water. Who wants dirty you bean water? Know. If you, wants dirty bean any, water? Anyone who knows anything about moving a weight or two knows C4 is the business. <laughs> Listen to this guy. <laughs> what he says, you want to follow what he does here. Uh, unlock that high performance. Unlock your potential with the best ingredients and the best energy drink in the game. Like I said, zero sugar, uh, all natural ingredients, and you can get it at your local grocery store or Amazon. Uh, go to c4energy.com. Uh, ignite your fire. I'm going to take all of the topics and throw them out the window. Stand up. Stand up, stand up right now. Stand up. Stand up. Look at this man. Look at this man's outfit. This shirt looks like he was chewed up in a lawnmower. Check this shirt's from 1969. There. It's a relic. It's $150 for this garbage shirt that looks like it was plucked out of a dumpster. And then he's wearing these overall, uh, these corduroy pants that look like, Trent said, are those Aladdin's pants? <laughs> These <laughs> pants are fire. They look These like- These are cool ass pants. They you know look how like, I know they're cool? Because Rudy just Guess took a picture of Guess who's wearing statement pieces Rudy today. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is this is uh, look at me clothing <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yep, uh, yep, and you're all doing it. You fell right into my fucking trap. Yep, right. <laughs> but look at, the, look at the idiot is, is what we were doing. Uh, those are, there's so much pants. Comfy as hell. I don't even feel on my legs. It feels like I'm naked. Yeah. yeah. Because they're <laughs> fucking five feet wide each. You're wearing corduroy parachute pants. Of course you don't feel them. Yeah, got a nice velour on them. God. They also make you look like you have stumpy little person legs because you've rolled them up and they're I so do. wide. I do. I do have stumpy they're, little person legs. They're short and wide. This is not the, these the look are, you These want are to my Babe Ruth pinstripes. You're, like, <laughs> you're right. I am a fat person, but it must be the pants. Rounding the bases in those. They look really Babe nice. Babe Ruth sweatpants. I, I want you to know that I admire you for this entire well, thing. Because we've gone opposite ways in terms of fashion. I wear the same thing every single day because I don't want to deal with any type of risk taking. You, you look great. Like I, I really do well, admire it. Look at this. This is crazy. Don't encourage like imagine if I don't showed up with this. Like this place yes. would burn, on, burn so, to the ground. So here's but you the thing. wearing it is like it's crazy, but not that crazy. Clothes are all about confidence, right? Right. You walk in wearing like just carrying yourself. Like look at my fucking outfit, and people go like, whoa, like look at that. But there's also something. <laughs> else that's just like physical about it where it's like if you wore, wore that if i wore that we'd be assholes <laughs> right and, and even if i am an asshole well that's the thing I, you I are readily don't admit get me that. wrong yeah. but like if i walked in wearing that and i was just like yep like all confident like this is my outfit it'd be like no you're a dickhead <laughs> Feidelberg does that and it's like i mean maybe he's just beating us down with his assholeness <laughs> that we're just like yeah whatever like Lady Feidelberg is now homeless Feidelberg, and that's just, you know, he's turned into a full-blown hobo. Yeah. But yeah. I will say, like, in, you know, two years, Dave will be wearing this. I think. This will be think, Dave's latest fit I uh, think walking Nate, around Soho, you know? Nate, Nate said I'm wearing duct tape on my hat because fuck this brand. Yeah, fuck the brand that's um, there. And, and it's the least ridiculous part of my outfit. Right, yeah. The, yeah. Your, your duct taped hat is like, well, we'll talk. We'll get to that third. <laughs> Are people, I don't know if people have seen enough of this side. Yeah, I'll really give them a profile, sure. Yeah. I'm not kidding you that it is a lawnmower, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's super holy. It's either holy. that or somebody took Probably like shrapnel. Right. Honestly, right. somebody took like a buckshot to yeah. the fucking but arm. But at the concert, but they, they, yeah, they at sold it. Someone that wore the like hiking with Cheney, yeah. hiking with Cheney back yeah. in the day. The, uh, the I, I honestly, I think the shirt's not getting enough credit for for the the. Uh, for how how ridiculous it is? How no, big for, an for you what good? I can't think of the word. Quality uh, for 1969. Like for that's like a still condition, condition mm -hmm. for the con like yeah. There's a bunch of holes in it, but this this shirt's all Woodstock in 1969. Probably, this shirt has, didn't. how many people do you think their DNA is on this shirt? Oh, boy, that's a disgusting thought. <laughs> what a gross thought. question that was. <laughs> well, when Hadn't you wear, when you over wear, five? Um, certainly. Like, certainly. Like when you certainly. say, like, oh, it's second hand? No, 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 that's like 150 second yeah. hand right. here. Um, I don't think it was made in 1969. You don't think so? No, I think it's in way too good a quality. 
I, like, I, I mean, that shark John would be like almost like sixty years. Right, old. Just, yeah, it yeah it's like this, be, this, this, this is this drought of Torin, like, like, like the last two things. Yeah, this the I mean, Torin, oh, Torin, this, dude. There's no way this is uh, fucking fifty years. Yeah, old. that feels fresh. That would be, oh, maybe, yeah. but maybe someone's grandma just used it as a come rag at Woodstock. Yeah, that and then shirt she kept was it in the made closet for in like nineteen. That, that shirt would be like two thousand four, and they just like ripped your shirt apart. Yeah, this is Gildan. This is like we make. How did that company has hasn't existed for that long? Let's figure it out. That's if I got ripped off, oh boy. Well, you never got ripped off. Got ripped off. off. <laughs> that's, that has become clear. <laughs> I, yeah, you got you are a sucker. <laughs> oh yeah, like definitely. none of the mm. none of this is even faded. The, the right, like I have shirts from high school that are <laughs> you know, that 14 <laughs> years ago or whatever, and that's nothing. There you go, 1984. 84. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! Someone, uh, someone did just put this in the closet and had moths eat it. Right. This, this shirt was made two weeks ago. <laughs> What is also, what's Woodstock Ventures LC? Let's find that. <laughs> the fake Woodstock company. Right. Yeah, basically. Right. That is Four Seasons Gardening is, is that shirt. <laughs> where, did, where did you buy that? At, at like a little boutique here in no, New York? No, this is a thrift store. The pants are new. The shirt is from 1969. <laughs> it's not, dude. It's not. It's, 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 I know you guys are talking it's about. It's 2014. I'll tell you what. Showing the tag was a it misstep like, by yeah, me. It looks like It's like Nike. Out, uh, workout wear. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking up Woodstock Ventures next. I want the, I, de is, I really want this, this to be from like 2007. This is a fucking venture capitalist company that just sells <laughs> fake Woodstock merch. Woodstock Ventures LLC founded. No, okay, that Woodstock. How Woodstock Ventures was formed. Let's see that. That'll that'll find it. No, that does. The actual company does seem to be from back then. Okay. okay. But um, that's unfortunate. Things are starting to shape up, despite the oh. twenty-year gap, twenty-five-year gap between the company that made this shirt's founding and the year the shirt was bought, yeah. or the day the shirt was bought. Inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, I guess if asshole. I'm gonna look at a silver lining, a lot less DNA on this shirt now. Yeah, true. It's yeah. cleaner. <laughs> Man. There's, there's so much less come on this shirt than I thought. Those pants have got to be heavy, though, right? Ah, uh, they're not so bad. Those that that looks like you took like all like the drapes in your house and made a fucking pair of pants. <laughs> yeah. out, Bro, you, you know? know I don't have drapes in my house. I don't have any yeah, kind of blinds no, whatsoever. In somebody's I'm house. into voyeurism. <laughs> you have just become a a cartoon character. Like if there was a cartoon character that had a stupid mustache and yeah. dumb hat and wore these clothes and he wore those every day in the right. cartoon, that would be. I saw the clip of you guys talking about uh, masturbating ice cream and I think that thing really yeah. has legs. Yeah. Just put cameras in your house. That's a great Patreon. Yeah, that's what I just, said. So, just so, so, so Vital Break has been waking up in the morning. Just you, dude. Vital Break yeah. has been waking up in the morning and realizing that he's been sleep eating obscene amounts of ice cream. He, and he uses his paws. I think we talked about it on the run. We did. No, yeah. I don't right. use we my did. hands. It's just but my hands. Like, I don't know. I'm, no, no, I think you use your hands. Because they're all over. Uh, well, what are the spoons uh, there for then? Well, they're broken because I think you bail on them. <laughs> I think, like, ah, it's not working. Yeah. You just take handfuls. But we said that, uh, you know, we always. We always have like one more play where we could just be full full reality stars. It's mm. like if, if we ever run out of money, run out of a job, we could just start filming John 24/7, right. and th seeing the person that would put this on live 24/7 would get views and would make money. I do worry it gets that sad quick. Just I don't so know. Everyone knows it yeah, gets and dark I don't. Fast. I don't know. I don't know how weird it's gonna get from here on, but like we might have missed we missed some gold oh, of yeah. the start yeah. of it. Like you were saying. Like, it started, you know, put the TV on, and then I look at Twitter, and now it's just a light on your face <laughs> looking at Twitter. Like, that progression really would have been something to behold. Also, though, a little something I like to call the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah. So we may have missed some gold, but there's plenty there's more to come. Yeah. There's a lot. If this is oh. where we're, we're at, you know? And it's also hilarious watching your hair grow in with whatever the fuck it is you put in the air in the summer. I mean, now you have, like, it's brown down here and just whatever it color up ridiculous. here. It's great. <laughs> I mean, you like, I yeah, you look up, like you know, I 70 up, Sam. Like, 70 Sam. So many know. areas. <laughs> like I have to wear a hat. I have to go to a wedding this weekend of my sister. Oh, no. And like I have to you wear this. Look like a like a like a 90s I look, I look, I'm, frosted I'm, tip boy band. 98 guy. degrees. Yes. I look like I'm in yep. 98 degrees. Yep. I, you look like from, you look like from 98 degrees. Head said no. Right. From head. You got kicked out of 98 degrees. I look like the guy who just the fucking bald guy. 98 degrees. We look the same now. Dude, you look. He got shitty hair plants. He's homeless. This is how he dresses. I look like someone who was in 98 degrees and just. Just never really, Faded to never got yeah. onto another rung after that, right. and it has been you fallen just, since. Oh man, <laughs> that's that's a bleak description. I look like a guy, the, the, the failure from 98 degrees who has just faded into oblivion. I look like oh, the guy my. who didn't buy all the rights to the fucking uh, Keegs, fuck you, uh, to the uh, to the weed farms in Ohio. 
Yeah. That's who I look you like. You look like the guy who, who, who didn't buy the rights to Saturday Night for the Boys. Too real. Too real. It was too real. <laughs> All right. We found the, we found the What line. do we have for topics? <laughs> we'll start with the only thing more embarrassing than Feidelberg on the internet today. Uh, Stephen Colbert doing oh, his man. vaccine dance. Holy what happened, man? Shit, well, I don't dude. know what this is. Let what me happened? The vax scene, like, you're on, like a cool scene. We're at the vaccine, and it's a bunch of fucking guys wearing, they're dressed as syringes, needles. And Stephen Colbert's in the middle dancing, and it's to tequila. If it sounds like a fever dream, that's because that's what it looks like. And I'm waiting. I was waiting for him to, to sing maybe and have like some punchlines, but there are none. And John, let me tell you something. It's to the it's to the beat of tequila. Yeah. Except instead of tequila, they say vaccine, which doesn't even fucking yeah, sound that like makes tequila. Sense. That makes I know sense. this is an easy thing to say, but if only there was something that sounded a lot like vaccine, like tequila, that was a, a vaccine company. Like Moderna. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. Something like Moderna. That. Moderna does something like sound more like like it's like a vaccine. It's the easy chirp, but like from what the Comedy Central show was of, of the Colbert Tequila. Report to like where Moderna. we're at now is yep. it's drastic. It's so bad. <clears throat> and I bet you like he and he's kind of mocking it a little bit, I think. Like he knows it's not cool. Wait, that but, was the whole thing? No, 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 no. no, 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 no okay. No. I was gonna say that's not he, that bad. He thing. does a full but also on, when you, it's on Twitter. Uh, like a show that, I the th a thing that also like, he's got this audience, he's had it for years now, he's been on the show forever, but like, he's got an audience that's like uh, 65 years old, falling asleep, like he's definitely, he's mocking it a little bit, but he's also like trying to be serious about it. It's, it's a weird mix. Oh yeah, here we go. And I kept waiting for like, you know, the music to cut out and then he does like jokes or something. It just doesn't. No. He just keeps dancing with these fucking grown men dressed as needles. This is one of those things that's wildly unnecessary, too, because what do you think the vaccination rate of people who watch the Colbert uh, Report, right. not Colbert, whatever yeah. it is, The Late Show? Yeah. yeah. About 100%? About 110%? Right, right. Yeah. So you're, not, you're not convincing <laughs> anybody, you know. Uh, Man. But, like, I can't imagine the Col the, the what's whatever he's on now. Late Show. Late, Late Show is doing yeah. it. And... I've seen it live. It's a good show. I actually, I think, I think Colbert's very funny, but that's rough to see. I, I mean, I know that he couldn't do the Colbert thing forever because that eventually was going to run yeah. its course. The, yeah. the like mocking sat Bro, satire. That was but fucking. That that's not talked about enough. How that, good that show, was. the the like what he did, bro. I remember I was. That's like in, some uh, Sasha Baron Cohen shit. That was like genius level fucking pranking. Like, but like like in college, my roommates were from Dallas and you know very conservative Republican, and I was the one who got to tell them he was kidding. It was unbelievable. Oh, like wow. I, like wow. people pe people thought that was just a real guy. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I was like, wait, you think this is real? <laughs> <laughs> it was. It's like telling a forty-year-old Santa Claus didn't exist. Yeah. It was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a spectacular moment in your life. Yeah. To, you know, to get to do I that. vividly remember. Oh, like, shit. Sitting, I know exactly where we were sitting. <laughs> yeah, I apartment. would never forget that. West Ten Apartments on uh, West Tennessee Street in Tallahassee. <laughs> History went down. I I, I wow. mean I know you can't do that forever, but what he is. I hope that like one day he's candid and he's like, yeah, they give me twenty million dollars a year. Right. Right. It's a fuck. huge audience. Yeah, like for like, whatever, like if that was me and I they were like they wanted me to dance to a show tune, I'd be like, whatever, man. I proved myself. I hope he's like that. I hope he's not like, hey, you killed it today, guys. I hope he walks off the set being like, I am such a sellout bag of but shit. But that goes both ways though too, doesn't it? Like, doesn't he have the power to be like, I'm not doing that? Yes, you would right. think. Yeah. Like, that was, that's 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 I think that was what Letterman's fuck, thing man. where he was like, Yeah, I have this show, but like I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I yes. want. I'm not gonna sing and dance like Jimmy Fallon. Right. Every and I, so I hope, I don't know. That's 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 about as low as I think Colbert gets because he's done some low shit recently. I think he he was he was in one of those compilation songs. He sung like New York, New York for the vaccine oh, or whatever. Yeah, right. Yeah, he did that so for he's sure. done some like lame, super liberal like, that's vaccine just crazy. COVID type shit, and it's like, oh god. I don't know. Yes. It's crazy that the the fact that celebrities continue to just sign like up for shit like I that. Mean, come how? On. How? Does, yeah, especially, and what's crazy is it's a compilation. So like, if one celebrity does one thing, and misses the mark, it's like his team's like, oh boy, we fucked this one up. But if it's like my team said yes, your team said yes, your team said like, yeah. you get twenty people involved, and they were all like, yeah, this will be funny and well received, and get you know, it's gonna prove the point. That's that's the greatest what? like insult I guess you could say about the idea of celebrities that they've 
lost such touch with reality that 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 immediately you could tell a child that and they go, oh no, that's a bad that's idea. Gonna, yeah. That's gonna that's gonna that's gonna bomb horribly. Right. Yeah. And they still do them. And There's they been think, like six of them that have come out during the pandemic. I know. And they keep promoting them and posting them. It's like, Jesus Christ, you morons. Oh. Um, let's go with, uh, I'll let you talk about this Belichick thing. Okay, I, uh, I saw you get a few quotes. Coming out. These things, it's Wickersham is a fucking cunt. Um, <laughs> Wickersham just writes anti Patriot books. He, the books. One... he did, uh, he did like, he had, he had a story, he wrote one of the Deflategate stories that were like, he's it not was, the one that initially. Knew was correct about like Brady leaving and shit though, right? That was another ESPN name. I for it was Wickersham and then a Van something. They right. combined for some. Didn't that one guy uh, stick to his guns and everyone was like, "You're a fucking like clickbaiting asshole," and he was like, "No," and he ended up being right. I but I, I don't I, think I it's this, this sicker sham guy or whatever. His Wickersham, name is. he's Wickersham. he's not well. Like, he he makes his money off which I mean I get like who cares? The Patriots made plenty of money, make money off them. He like makes all his money off this. Um, but I, like, also, like, I'm sure there's truth to all of this. Well, so the, the, the like, headline I'm sure, I'm was sure like, Mr. Kraft called Belichick, Belichick a the fucking asshole. asshole. The biggest asshole he's ever met. Like, no fucking yeah. shit. And I think, like, Belichick, right. first of all, I think every, everybody has friction and has said that about each other in every organization. Right. Mm. And secondly, I think Bill Belichick would cop to being the biggest asshole in the world. It, it reminds like, yeah, me of the, um, the, Veep de- the Veep episode when Selena Meyer is trying to figure out who in, on her team called her a cunt. <laughs> And she puts, um, I forget, the, the blonde girl begins with an A. She puts her in charge. And like Amy. she, she Amy. Amy, it's Amy. Yeah. And she's asking everybody, being like, and she finally cracks. She's like, it was me. And then like Mike is like, oh God, it was it me. Was me. Yeah. Right. Like everyone's like, oh, I don't want to call her. Like right. everyone did it. I'm right. sure everyone's called Belichick the biggest asshole of all time. Right. It seems like the starting point for all these is like, it's one big happy family. No, right. dude, when they mm. win that many championships, when there's that many wins, when there's that much fame, it's never going to be perfect. The storyline would be. They're actually friends. Right. right. That'd be like, more that would shocking be more, than anything else. Right. But I guess if you have some quotes on the record with some, you know, foul language, people are going to get, I don't know. But they're not on the record. They're unnamed sources. They're all like, unnamed sources. Say it. And I, 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 don't, I don't care. Like, you don't have to put your name to it for me to believe something. I believe this happened. I just don't believe it's a big deal. I believe that fucking, oh, there was another one. The one that Belichick wouldn't meet Brady face to face so Brady could say his goodbye is weird. See, I believe Which, that. I don't know. But like, also, I don't know. Like, I get it too. I'm like, I'm fucking. I'm, yeah, you're leaving. I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, what, yeah, Bill's notoriously like, you know, about his team. It's like, okay, you're on another team now. Whatever. No emotions. You're gone. You're out. But the, I don't know. Unless there's some deep shit that's interesting. Uh, like, what? They've just been around for so long. We've done every fucking story. Right. You know, it's like, I don't think there's many uh, unturned stones at this point. Unless there are. Unless there are some shit that's like, holy shit, we didn't know this, that, and the other thing. But I think that would have been the headlines for this book. Yeah, not, the, not, not that at Mr. one point Kraft, Kraft was asshole. leaving a billionaire's conference and said, I got to go hang out with my asshole head coach. I don't know. Yeah, That's yeah. what you're leaving Bill, with? Bill like, Belichick, is an, like, he's never been marketed as anything other than an asshole. Yeah, it's not like that's that shocking news. <laughs> he would, I think, cop to it and be like, yeah, 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 that checks out, you know? It's like when Dave's always like, yeah, like, I'm an asshole. Like, people call me an asshole, I get it. It's like, yeah, that, that's it, what Belichick would say. It is like, I, I, I also, I get everyone's issues with things. Like, Brady wanted to be to show that he's great. Belichick wants to show he's great. Kraft wants credit for giving Belichick the shot because mm-hmm. before Belichick came to the Patriots, he he was not honestly a, it, a, it, a, it, didn't have a winning record as a coach. There's too many egos, mm-hmm. too much money, too much success for too long. Where it's like this just has to bubble over because yeah. it's like most times you have a few year run and then somebody leaves or somebody retires or whatever because they've like done it all. This was like they, 20 years of it. It's like, of course it all. We've been talking about this for four or five years where it's like, yeah, right. like, yeah, nothing ends pretty. When you die, you shit yourself. When your fucking dynasty falls apart, people have quotes where they're like, yeah, I thought that guy was a dickhead. Who gives a Done. shot? Yeah. <laughs> Do any of these quotes take away any of those banners hanging up at Gillette? I'm all set then. All right. Uh, unbelievable video from Florida, of course. Man catching a alligator in a garbage can. The courage of this man, the bravery, the ingenuity, the 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 uh, the, the, the stick-to-itiveness <laughs> to get this fucking alligator in this thing was unbelievable. Can I can I I'm, ask a question that it seems no one on the internet's asked? Yeah. Why? Why catch the alligator so it doesn't like eat your baby? Was um, there a group of babies around? Why don't you take them inside? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be the me. The alligator's but I can, not gonna just sit outside waiting for a baby. It crawl. would not be me, but I, I can understand people being like, we, somebody's got to catch this alligator. Like, let's, in, let's just go inside till the alligator leaves. Yeah. I'm impressed by this video, but also I thought the alligator was gonna be bigger. 
How like, big was it? It's it's pretty small. Is it? We'll see. I mean, he fits in. Those trash cans are pretty big. I saw, I saw the full video. I never thought like he was small. Like, when I think of an alligator, I think of the ones that are like oh, 15 feet long. Oh, when you're used to those, go those golf course ones that come out every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so like, like, yeah. Dinosaurs. I mean, that's. Dude, that's not a small alligator. Trent. Brother, if I put that alligator in front of you right now, you'd go, holy fucking shit, that's a How alligator. long would it take for that alligator to kill me? Not long no, at all. No. Okay. That, that Five minutes? Under that? Like, I, fucking... couldn't I just, you know like, they, No, you know what they do? They bite you and they do that, that, that death roll. That one yeah. can't do a death roll. Oh, yeah, I can. You toast. But if that one does a death roll, it breaks my leg. It doesn't snap my neck. You are yeah, a well, sturdy fella, but Once your leg's your neck broken, death... fella? I said fella. I heard it. And it was like, did like, you say that? And it's like... um. Once your leg's broken, guess who's fucking in the prone position? Guess who's got an exposed neck? Yeah. See you later. Yeah. No, that's fair. I mean, look at that, that tail just hitting you would would fucking swipe you down. Like, I'm just so like I guess with movies and you're, like, I love you said, this golf right here, right here. He gets it down and then he goes. I gotta tell <laughs> yeah. you, if I'm, if I'm putting a uh, an alligator in a trash can, I'm putting shoes on. He's out there in slides. Yeah, you see that? yeah, yeah. I mean, there must have been some imminent danger or something. Cause to he, what? There's nothing imminent enough that you have to get the trash can. You just. Pick up the baby and move. Tell the kids' children's party to go inside. Are all the children tied up in the backyard? Why? Why? Why would they not be able to just go inside there, the house? There's an a alligator. bigger story we didn't know about, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, like, man puts alligator in a trash can. <laughs> 50 children tied up in the park yeah. in the backyard. The guy's going to kill these kids to me. <laughs> um, I just thought of the alligator too bigger. I, that's I, all. I'll, I'll just say I think both of you poo-pooed this a little too much. This is fucking amazing. It's, it's amazing. This is, in, but this is I just, insane. I just don't understand why. I want to I want to throw Trent in a fucking cage with an alligator. <laughs> Do you not agree though, though that like when you think of an alligator you think of a large alligator? That's a No, that, I mean, that that alligator fit though. I thought like you saw some picture where like the guy was holding it by the tail. I'm watching that video at no point did I think pussy alligator. The, the, first thing the I thought. The golf, <laughs> first thing alligators, I thought. The golf course alligators are like the ones from the movie Lake Placid. They're dinosaurs. Where they're, yeah. yeah, they're dinosaurs. Speaking of, woolly mammoths, they're coming back. He set you up there. He that did. was good. <laughs> he really did. That was good, yeah. <laughs> the woolly mammoth is coming back. How? Um, there are some investors who are doing some Jurassic Park shit. I think some, some real life Jurassic Park shit. I had to see where, you know, when this woolly mammoth comes back, we'll be there rooting it on. Can't wait for the next board meeting. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're, we're excited to have you guys involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for helping spread the word. And this, this, this article's been out for like a little while now, so you may have seen this, but have you seen this yet? No. Do you no. know how much it's costing? Don't look. I don't know if he's pulling them up. Okay. How much do you think funding the, like, recreation, the unextinction of woolly mammoths is? Man, the way you set it up makes it seem like a pretty high yeah. number or uh, a really low number. You think number. we're going to, you want to hit a B? Yeah. Yeah? You want to hit multi B? No, I think one. One B? Yeah. One billion. 10 to 15 Million dollars. Oh, okay. okay all right. See, Get that's easy. low. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's low. <laughs> we should have crowdsourced this and bought our own woolly mammoths. Right. Dave could go buy a woolly mammoth right now. <laughs> he could buy a yeah. It'd be, yeah. Like, like that's insane. I like to think that woolly mammoths have existed the whole time. Just people in Africa and zookeepers have been shaving elephants. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for that fifteen million dollar payday. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> zzz, 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 these motherfuckers zzz, think they're extinct. Yeah. They just been giving them limbs their guns. <laughs> and then the what about the like... gigantic tusks? <laughs> what about those? Oh, that's shaving those that's, down that's, too. Ivory poachers have been taking those. I, I'm top five to pet it. You're what? In top five to pet it when it comes back. Really? Yeah. Why don't you just get one for yourself? They're ten to fifteen million. How much that cost? Yeah, something. Yeah, no, it's a, to it's, make it happen. Yeah, That's your boy no, Josh is doing it. Yeah, he's right? like the main guy. Like I'm in with the. I'm literally top five to pet it if they do it. That's fucking Ooh. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> top five to pet it. What does that mean? He's gonna be one he's of the top one. five people to pet it. To pet it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know what he was saying. That's fucking awesome. That's. That's a pretty good thing. That's, that's cool. I thought he was saying he was like top five investor or something. No. I thought it was a word I didn't he's, know. He's going to be. Then you two knew it. And I, I, thought, <laughs> he's, I thought Pettit was some word. Like, no. like Andy Pettit. Imagine, like, imagine him saying? putting that on his Instagram. Like there's only five yeah. people that can do that. Yeah. That's as good as it gets. Yeah. yeah the, uh, a lot of likes. So uh, Josh Richards is a part of it. And, oh. and his boy. Um, his boy. Um, Gruen? Gruen. Uh, kept sending it to me. He wants me to do one minute man on it so bad. And um, I just remember when I tried to get Josh to do ATI, and, and Gruen said, Josh doesn't do anything he doesn't have equity in. So I don't have any equity in the Wooly Mammoth, bro. <laughs> so I'm not. But if you can you get, get top, me, if you get me top six, six if yeah. I can be, <laughs> be six to pet that shit, we got a deal, Gruen. <laughs> um, but 
I mean, like, I'm thinking John Hammond, Jurassic Park, Amber fucking dinosaurs. Yeah. Billion dollar thing. 15 milli. 15 I, I really like the way Unless the world is like going. Unless it's like 15 million to kick it off and then we need, you know, 15 million. Did you say you really like the way the world's going? Right? Yeah, like all the stuff like, we're doing, we're like, like it, playing it's, God it's happened for a long time in movies where like, it always ends with like, why do they do this? Why do they make these robots that can break a human neck? Yep, yep. And then why do they do the dinosaurs again? And like, we're just doing it and I love it. And also, Have you seen the it. Amazon robot? Oh yeah, oh, I did uh, see that. Astro. I mean, that, Where are the that's Jetsons just... at, by the way? I hope the Jetsons are getting some money off that. Yeah, I real. like that we, I agree with you. I like that we've all collectively kind of decided that things aren't going like that well. Yeah, let's like, start testing let's shit. Let's do let's it. See, yeah, let's start doing it. What's things, the worst that can happen? Like before things... it was like, yeah, it was too, we got too much at risk. Now it's like, thing is, everything's fleeting. Everything that was like, we might upset the ecosystem. It's like, well, the ecosystem's upset. Yeah. Right. So just <laughs> fucking rock and roll, man. Well, I, I do bucks. also hope, see, here's the thing. All of these prehistoric animals, we're just guessing. You know what I mean? The woolly mammoths aren't that, you know, old as the dinosaurs. But you know how, like, we're finding out all the time, like, ah, actually, uh, the T-Rex had feathers, or, like, the raptors yeah. were actually this big or this big yeah. or whatever. What well, if they everything's wrong? just a pussy. Well, but what if, or what if it's the opposite? What if what if a woolly mammoth turned out to be like, yeah, it's kind of like an elephant. And it's like, no, it's a fucking animal that like massacres everything. It's the in size its of skyscrapers. Yeah, 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 and it can like shoot the tusks out and <laughs> throw new ones. And like, no! we, we, we brought back like a demon animal from the depths of hell. I like it though. Yeah, I'm with you. Imagine that, Dave's like, all right, today's the day. I'm petting the woolly mammoth, and it's like Jurassic Park, like it <laughs> kills everyone in its path. That is the beginning of a movie. Yeah, <laughs> that really is. And and it's funny because you know there's always one like rich asshole who like is a part of like the you know the, 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 the there's the asshole who went through Willy Wonka's factory and the asshole you know there's the asshole in Jurassic Park that could be Dave you know he's like <laughs> like the rich mogul who's there to pet it and, yeah. top five to pet that woolly man woolly mammoth worth it even that's worth it no matter what happens it's worth it if you, I would like to get killed by a prehistoric animal. If I'm, I'm you know what? Definitely. Actually, may I posit a different idea? Skip the woolly mammoth. Bring back the saber toothed tiger. I forgot about those Much things. cooler of an animal. Imagine them bringing that thing out yeah. in front of a crowd. <laughs> like, that's, that's a Vegas nuts. act right Willie Mammoth is kind of, they feel like they're asleep half the it's time. Like, that's Snuffleupagus, bro. Yeah. Like, right. I see that on Sesame a Street. A saber-toothed tiger. Bring a saber-toothed tiger. Doors opening up, smokes everywhere. <laughs> and it's just... Didn't they, like, Lee fall into Lee Schreiber is dragging it. Yeah. Sure. Why, why yeah. not? But yeah. Play saber in uh, X-Men. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, the saber tooth tiger. What a reference. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what we need. That just looks like a cat, though. Even this saber tooth tiger. Eh. No, well, look at that top right one. That's yeah, I mean, like, how much bigger are his teeth than a cat's teeth? Very much bigger. <laughs> much, much Super larger. much bigger. Have you ever seen a mared fox? No. no. M-A-R-E-D -M -A fox. Let's take a look at this thing. Uh, I just saw this in the news the other day. No, 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 no. M -A not mared. M-A-R-E-D. Mared. Mared. Ooh. Mared oh, we got, Fox. We got a person. I like Mr. that. No, Mayor hang Fox. on. Well, don't, before you do the race anything, <laughs> let's, let's, see, let's, let's see, see what, what the what? Mayor, M-A-Y-O-R, Fox is up to. There we go. Look at this. Like, look at that, oh, look at that middle thing. one. Yeah, look at that. Like, the, it's like got the legs of a deer, the head of a fox, and the body of like a fucking dog. These are around now? I, yeah, they just like, it's like oh, invading yeah, some that. town in, in like Westchester or something like that. But look at that thing. That looks like, uh, that's, that's a, that's a, Devil's animal. That's like a like. Oh, I think they just it's hot. It all to, you think it's hot? I think I think all nice those legs. animals are females animal and they're is... all sexy. Yeah. What? I could see that. I don't know. I wish I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, look at that little hole. Like... Come on. <laughs> and you try to tell me that's not a woman? She's all she's. Well, it's because of those long legs. She's strutting that. You're like, what up? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to fuck it though. I don't know. Remember when Fasoli spelled Mared M A Y O R E D? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And the you're, lucky, you're lucky that is worth making fun of. Like, yeah, you're right. Let's yeah. do it. The mayored fox. I, it's me, the mayored fox. Unreal. All that's right. A, that's a good looking animal. Um, that's the rundown. Anything internally going on here? It awaits each other today. Yeah, right? I don't think so. All good? All right. Uh, yeah. See you tomorrow.